Okay, this is another one of my paranormal experiences. Now, I experienced this one going back a few years now. A um, few miles um, on the outskirts of a place called Rithin in North Wales is a place called the Nantagarth Pass. Um, it's a road that goes through woodland. It's a, it's a, a windy old bendy old road. Not very long, a mile perhaps, something like that. Um, and it's called the Nantagarth Pass. Now then, this paranormal experience, um, I was actually driving, I was driving a car about halfway through the Nantagarth and it was, it wasn't dark, it was dusk, shall we say. Um, it was perhaps about half an hour to an hour to you know putting the lights on the car so you know it wasn't during the daytime like I say it got about halfway through Nantagarth and suddenly it was from my right came out the trees this ball of light came straight out the trees straight in front of the windscreen and it was hovering above the bonnet just bigger than a football perhaps you know, tw perhaps say one and a half or twice the size of a football. It was like semi-transparent, you could see through it. And it was round. You know, it gave me a hell of a fright. There was no one behind me, no one in front of me, and no one on the other side of the road. I'm thinking to myself, you know, bloody hell. So the first thing I did was start braking. I'm looking at this thing right in front of me, right in front of the windscreen. Started braking to stop. Didn't exactly jam on, but, you know, ease the car to a halt. Just before the car actually stopped, this ball of light shot off back to where it came from. Back, you know, into the trees and vanished, completely disappeared. So, like I say, I was actually driving. You can't, through the Nantagarth, you can't go very fast. Cause it's all twists and it's, it's very bendy section of road so you can't go very fast you're probably doing 30 40 perhaps you know then you're slowing down then you're speeding up a bit you know so so like i say it came up the trees hovered it wasn't touching the bonnet it was hovering above it so it must have been hovering and coming you know moving with the car you know because by the time i you know brake that like i say i didn't jam on you know, I was slowing down, so it's obviously travelled with the car in front of the windscreen for, what, 50, 100 yards, something like that. And, uh, like I say, I didn't actually stop to a standstill, just coming to, you know, 10 mile an hour or whatever, slowing down. And it just shot back out. 